All right. So, there you have it, you know. The vibrations are going to continue very soon. But before we go into the next musical segment, I would like to introduce an esteemed colleague of mine from years and years, well, so, so, so far as I've been at the University of the West Indies, which has been about 15 years now. Uh, esteemed colleague, none other than Professor Clinton Hutton, who basically, I have to say, was the inspiration for an edited book we did on Leonard Hall. When was it, Clinton? Yes, 2014. Um, we are try, I'm trying to get some copies out for, for regular circulation, but at the moment, this Leonard Hall book is only available at the University Bookshop at UE. But I still would strongly recommend, it's a great read, it's an in-depth read, several articles. Professor Hutton has an article in there, I have an article, Jelani Naya has an article, Ross Miguel Lan, um, Louis Moyston, and a whole host of people, you know, who look into Leonard Hall and try and put on paper the significance and, you know, the power and the influence he had, not only on Rastafari movement, for, for black people in general, you know, definitely a part of the black liberation struggle, and that is why um, today is important for I and I, and I'm glad to see that the item come out, you know, on this Leonard Hall Earth Day, the 124th Earth Day of the Honorable Leonard Percival Hall. So I'm glad for the item come out on the support. So without further ado, um, I'm hoping that my esteemed colleague, Professor Houghton, can come and, and start off the proceedings with a presentation overall on the significance of Leonard Hall, you know. So let's give him a big welcome, also trade welcome, to <laughs> Professor Clinton Houghton. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Brethren, friends, greetings. Greetings on this day when in 1930 a historical occasion exploded in the world. An occasion which led some Garveyites first and foremost in the form of Leonard Percival Howell to mark that day as a special day of African redemption as a special day which propelled what today is known around the world as Rastafari. Of course, Rastafari or Rastafari was the title of the, the man next in line to the throne in Ethiopia. The only country in Africa not to have been colonized. And therefore, with Garvey's teachings, with Garvey's prophecy, Leonard Howell of Garveyite, along with other persons like Hibbert and Dunkley and Daly, established the coronation as a taking off point, a historical juncture for something that was to amaze the world. And so, Howell started out in the parish of St. Thomas, 
St. Thomas is really the birthplace of Rastafari. The birthplace of Bogle is the birthplace of Rastafari. Went to St. Thomas and was so impressive in his mobilization of the people that the colonial state honed him down. The colonial state with their police and with thugs. They hired thugs, other black people, to beat up the supporters of Owell, to burn down their places, to spy upon them, because the colonial authorities know that this is a dangerous thing. So, the catalyst was the coronation of the regent, Rastafari, being crowned His Imperial Majesty, Ailey, Emperor Ailey Selassie I. And it became the catalyst, an explosion, historical explosion. And that legacy of that explosion is what we are here today. That's why we are here. So, Howell was hounded, arrested. Every state and in 1933 tried at the Morant Bay Courthouse the, co the Morant Bay Courthouse was rebuilt after October 11, 1865 pretty much the same style but it was burnt down by Bogle's people the rebuilt courthouse was where the trial of Leonard Howell took place and in this trial, the followers of Howell, they wore the color green, black, and gold. The earliest color of Rastafari was green, black, and gold. And in that courthouse, for the first time, Leonard Howell declared and defended to the colonial authorities, to their judges and police and the planters, that Selassie I is the living God. He declared that in the courthouse at Morant Bay in St. Thomas. Leonard Howell, in having meetings around with his people, told them that is one king they have and is King Selassie, not King George V. And for that, he was arrested because he was turning colonialism upon its head. And for saying that black people's king was Selassie. He was arrested. 1933. Placed in jail. Tried for sedition. And imprisoned for two years. While in jail, he wrote the promise key. That was written in jail. The first text on Rastafari is the promise key written in jail. And then he was arrested again during the, the, the all, all Island uprising in Jamaica in, 18, in 1938. 
And he was arrested several times. And placed in Bellevue. And guess what? It was something that they planned. Because in their own documents, they were deciding as to how to put away Howell in the mental hospital. Because they did it before with Alexander Bedwood, 1921. Bedwood was arrested, sentenced to Bellevue. Because you cannot talk about black God and this and that. You must be mad. In fact, in that trial, one of, Be one of Bedward's followers was, was also tried. They tried hundreds of Bedward followers because they wanted to break up the movement of Bedward. Which was a movement that spanned from Bogle time to Garvey time and Howell time. And in fact, one of Howell's, one of Bedward's followers was tried and he referred to Bedward as my lord. Long time the Bobby Shanty, they might come, you know. He referred to Bedward as my lord. And the judge said this man must be mad. The judge actually sent him for a psychiatric evaluation before he was sentenced that this man must be mad because when black people start to behave that way colonialism can't have no power over them Jenny. only physical power no emotional power no psychic power no spiritual power no power of interpretation what Kumi calls the faculty, the new faculty of education or of interpretation. Because that is one of the things that Rastafari brought forward to this country and to the world. By the way, Alexander Bedward passed away during the coronation of His Majesty. In 1930. So he was in Bellevue from 1921 to 1930. He passed away, I think, on the fifth day. Because you have had several coronation days, you know. It started on the 2nd of November. But there were several days of coronation. Seven. Right? And I think on the sixth day, Bedward passed away. Right? So, how well, therefore, is a very important historical figure, not only in Jamaica, but in the world. An important historical figure in the world. Leonard Owen. And his legacy lives on. That's the beginning. Without that, we wouldn't be here today. Because Rastafari then worked out in meetings that the earliest ones called Groundation in another name, Naya Binky. In various meetings. And if you remember the album called Black Heart Man by Bonnie Wheeler. And that song on the album talk about the tribulation of Rastafari. He lives in the gullies of the city. Even in the lonely parts of the country. He got no home, no friends, no family. The black heart man. He's known to live like a gypsy. The black heart man. Yeah. Right? Bonilla then became a black heart man. <laughs> right? Who get blamed without a reason? 
Listen to those songs. Don't sing them. Recite them. And you will see the power of the, those choreographed words of wisdom. Because it is in these meetings, these camps, like in St. James, like in St. Thomas, like in St. Catherine, like in East Kingston, like in West Kingston. It was in those camps that the philosophy envisioned by the founding fathers of Rastafari were worked out. And what are some of those principles, philosophical principles of Rastafari? There are, there are several of them, and they evolve every day because each generation plays their own. And nothing is wrong with that once it understands the tradition and the, 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 the motive and motivations and mission of Rastafari so it was in those camp that you have in the reasoning sessions you have the saying man must know and not believe that was one of the early principles of Rastafari coming out in the camps. Now that, that line, that saying, man must know and not believe, is very, very important. That, that saying was directly in opposition to the colonial belief system taught by black people for decades and centuries that and the way other people put it like Jimmy Cliff they told us of a pie up in the sky waiting for you when you die but between now and when you die nobody seemed to hear you when you cry what Rasta was pointing out taking up the mantle of Gavi what he was what Rastafari was pointed out that this what Peter Touch called hisms and schism about dying going to heaven in Jesus name what he was talking about because the premise of the premise of slavery and colonialism was black people should work so that white people can have their heaven on earth Servants obey thy master because it is right. Even if your master abuse you. And in the, in the documents, in the literature. Available from that time. You will see over and over and over again. That your time will come when you die. So don't. don't don't, don't bother about the condition that you are in now. Because when you die, that is the time you're going to read sweetness, milk and honey. Because they were doing that and drilling it in the heads of black people under slavery and colonial subjection. That you, you really, whatever happened to you, don't mind that. Don't fuss. Don't rebel. Because your day will come. And your day will come when you die. And what was the response of Rastafari? Man must know and not believe. You must know the facts. You must know where you are coming from. You must know what is it that they are telling you. You can't just believe it. Belief in, a, in something is really to believe about something that does not exist. You have faith in it. So one of the principles of Rastafari 
is you must know and not believe. That came out in the reasonings in the Rasta camps that were frequently harassed by the police. And it came out in the music too. Came out in the music when Bob, who called himself Gong, by the way, and Gong was one of the names of Howell. The followers of Howell call him Gang, Gong. Right? And when Marley speaks about or sings about them building church and university. You know that song? Right? Babylon system. Babylon system. Is a vampire. vampire. And by the way, Bogle's people were using that term to describe the system then too. Right? So there's a there's a thread of struggle from the beginning to that, right? So building church and university, deceiving the people continually. That's the purpose of church and school and the colonialism. And when Bob did it, it's because the practice continues during independence. Right? So principle, you must know and not believe. Principle two, one love. One love. By the way, one love was a thing that Garvey used to say when he meant a meeting. One love. That's where it's coming from. One love, one heart. One love. Right? That's an important principle. Because if the world do not, does not abide by such a principle, that's just war and rumors of war. And we know who make war in the world. The colonialists. They're the ones who make war. They have interest in war. Because it is war that they get their ill-gotten gains. They, they stole continents, islands, run the people off their, their lands, committed genocide against them, wiped them out. The Tainos in Jamaica, wiped them out. And in all of that thing that is happening, has happened, they claim themselves to be the good guys. That's what they have been doing, you know. Right now. They committed the most massacres, genocide, assassinations, thievery in the world. And yet they are the good guys. But, but guess what? <laughs> they have some of us believe in that too. And if you can't get you to play their game, then they will always be in charge. Holy Pompous believe that anything too black no good. And so you play their game. If you play their game, you perpetuate their rule. And that is why I love sometimes. By the way, the Rastas of the first generation were what they call Comsom. Never have dreadlocks. It's a second generation of Rastafari led by a man like Bono G's. Bongo Wato. Assisted by the Mama uprising in Kenya. Where the Gleaner published photos of some of the Mama leaders and they had long dreadlocks. So one of the interviews I had with, with a man like Ras R Rye Ivory, I asked him when he started wearing dreadlocks. 
him say him start wearing dreadlocks from before me born him, him start wearing dreadlocks from 1941 not sorry 1951 so i said why you wear dread him says a mama right so second generation added something to first generation but principle is principle right so what we have been seeing in the making of Rastafari right, is in these camps where they had to be and part of the reason of having camps and having communities of your people is for collective security part of the reasons for that but it is out of that also that we have the cultural underpinnings that the Rastafari gave to the world in pinnacle the Rastafari the core of the Rastafari movement at pinnacle came out of Kumina they were they were Kumina practitioners there are two types of people the early Rastafari constituted mainly two types of people Alexander Bedward followers and and the Kumina people and so it was no surprise then that the first set of musical expression reflect the Kumina tradition and also reflect the revival tradition of of Bedward and so early in the period some some Rastafari take out the, the the revival words out of those songs and put in their own words and it's out of that that blossom some some even very traditional um, songs like Rastaman chant it's not made by Mali and the whalers it's a traditional song that put Rastafari content to the song that powerful song and to the beat no not of Kumino not of revival but of a drumming pattern created by one of our most important Rastafari cultural leader in, 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 in East Kingston Count Azi Count Azi is the one that developed that drumming pattern that the whalers use blessings that the whalers use in Rastaman chant a chanting tradition that at the beginning of the all music industry one of the first set there are different songs one of the first set of songs from the beginning that tradition was that that drumming tradition which which count develop from Buru and Kumina and therefore when the first set of Jamaican music that formed the music industry in the late 1950s begun right up there you have a song called Oh Carolina, Oh Carolina is one of the first song to the public and to the world that chant the Rastafari Naya Bingi drumming. So from the beginning of it, and then you have the, the man them at, 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 at the camp in, in East Kingston. It is outside, is, is, is some of the, the, the greatest Jamaican musicians like Tommy McCook, Don Drummond, 
Dizzy Johnny Moore. That these people, the drum became the lead for their, their instrument, even for their guitar like Jajari, even for their trumpet, like Dizzy Moore, or their sax, like Tommy Mako. And the scatterlights became the backbone of the first popular form of the music industry. Scat. Right? And so one of the contributions of Rastafari to Jamaican music is that it, it gives it beauty and it gives it philosophy. So Marley having read Marcus Garvey's work because one of the things that they used to do in these camps was to read Garvey philosophy and opinions and having read that Marley could assert having read and understood Garvey could assert in one of his songs called Misty Morning the power of philosophy floats through my head Light like a feather, heavy like lead. That truth is that this philosophy, in an interview, Marley says, when we write a song, even a little baby must understand it. And so when we talk and when we articulate and when we meet with anyone, that's what we must seek to do. That it is light like a feather floats around but it is as heavy, as deep, as powerful as the weight of lead. Right? So, so how well who we are celebrating this day can't be separated from whatever I've said before his example was one of the big examples of a Rasta camp pinnacle self-sufficient self-sufficient they used to go in the markets of Kingston and in the markets of Kingston and Saturdays to sell their produce. They had tons of gongo peas, melons, ganja. and ganja was central. <laughs> ganja was very much central to it. Right? And they have, in fact, when I were interviewed persons, they had thousands of goats. They make their own shoes. It was an economic venture. Economically. And in 1954, the colonial authorities in Jamaica destroyed Pinnacle. Destroyed Pinnacle. Talk to Howell's sons. I mean, I, it, I mean, Bill is, um, Mount is over 80 now? 83. Still strong. I interviewed, years ago, I interviewed Mounty, one of Howell's sons. And while he was talking to me about the thing that they face, he started to cry. started to cry right? no when I interviewed him he was about 75 76 he started to cry how the police treated them framed them extort from his father all of those things but the community was important and any power in the world that does not allow for community development, they mean you no good. Community 
and community empowerment. As Howell show was critical to our development. That's what Bogle was doing in Stony Gut. And it is that community that produce or is responsible for the cultural ethos that Rastafari gave to the world. So I was able to go to, 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 to Martinique, no, to, to Guadeloupe, and, and Michael and Jelani and myself visit a community. And one of the things that struck me, a community of Rastafari, one of the things that struck me was when one of, one of the leaders of the community say, said, I knew Bob Marley before I knew His Majesty. In other words, he came to Rastafari through hearing the songs of Marley. Because, as Marley says, the power of philosophy floats through my head like, like a feather, heavy like lead. So, what are some of the other principles? The Garvey principle, first principle for Garvey, and it became first principle for Rastafari. Know thyself. That the first principle of life is self discovery. Self discovery. Know thyself. Knowing thyself must necessarily mean that you have to know about ancestry that the history of africa prior to slavery must be part of our daily lives but also the history of the resistance to colonialism is important but the history of our treatment must also be important and so when I teach some of my, the youths at university, one of the things that they would always say, Sir, how come we don't know these things? How come we don't know these things? You don't know about Africa. You don't know about the resistance to colonialism and slavery. And you don't know about the treatment of Africans during slavery. So how many persons know that this is just one example of many. In Westmoreland, at a place called Egypt, a plantation. And Egypt is still in Westmoreland. Not Egypt. A man ran away from slavery. Them call him Port Royal. He ran away from slavery. And you know how it was punished? This is what the slave holders. This is what the slave holder wrote in his diary. Of what he ordered done to this man for running away. A man who was stolen and he ran away. It was the biggest crime. These are the words of the slave master. Gave him a moderate whipping. Pickled him well. And made Hector shit in his mouth. Put in a gag. Whilst his mouth was full. And made him wear it four to five hours. This is just one example. There are millions of examples, but this is just one example. Other example, where they kill people and use their meat to feed black people. This happened. That's what the Europeans did. And then call themselves good. <laughs> right? So, one of the principles, therefore, 
of the movement of Rastafari, of his philosophy, is, is knowledge of ancestry. That you have to know yourself by also knowing your ancestors. That you cannot speak for yourself if you cannot speak for your ancestors. And in some of the music, you can see that philosophy, the presence of that philosophy, that principle of philosophy. So for example, in, in the song, Redemption song. And you know redemption song. Old pirate, yes, they rabbi. Sold I to the merchant ship. Minutes after they took I from the bottomless pit. But my hand was held strong by the hands of the Almighty. We forward to this generation triumphantly. What Marley is singing is that he was on that ship too. Right? So that you don't speak about your ancestry, ancestors as if they are living in the past. But because they are part of our present. Right? And therefore what he is actually saying. I am my ancestors. And my ancestors are me. Every time I hear the crack of the whip. My blood runs cold. I remember on the slave ship. How they brutalize our very soul. I am my ancestors. And my ancestors are me. I put another way by touch. I am a man of the past. Living in the present. Walking to the future. Right? So, so there is a coherent philosophy of Rastafari. And it comes out of camps that were not per permitted. But they had no choice in doing. Out of the, the gunshot, out of the buttons, out of the curse, telling people that them don't have any ambition. <laughs> Out of all of that came a philosophy that must be written up with its principles because it is available to be written up so that we can teach our young people because the education system is still colonial in many respects. And I have been in the system from, from I was 16 years old. Eh? So, we have to understand the meaning of Howell for us today. And if we understand the meaning of Leonard Percival Howell for us today, then we would not disrespect Howell as I've seen some ones do. We would not disrespect Howell. We would not disrespect, disrespect his legacy. Because in this history, he is the first. And we should do what we need to do to get the, the prerequisite lots allocated so that pinnacle they capture most of it. Oh well bought it. And the thief them capture most of it. Right? All of it. That's true. But we need those lots, seven or so lots. And the pinnacle of pinnacle. Those lots. We cannot make foolishness cause our, our selfishness cause us those lots. We must respect the man and we must respect Howellites. The first set of Rastafari were Howellites. The first set of Rastafari were Kumina practitioners. 
The first set of Rastafari were, were Alexander Bedwood's followers. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes, he was a mason. And I've actually interviewed some people who knew him. In fact, at the same time, he was, he was also in St. Thomas, you know. Also daily. Right? In fact, Michael has a very beautiful book that tells you about the different traditions that came out. Dunkley, Dunkley's tradition is more akin to what, what the tradition today we call um, the 12th tribe of Israel. So, so, and, um, so, so that we, we have to familiar ourselves with the history and the, 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 the various tendencies that emerge out of this history. Right? So, Rastafari is not going anywhere. In which the colonialists wanted us to go. The colonialists wanted to us to disappear. And sadly enough, the colonial gov the, the, the government that inherited the colonial state which is supposed to be independent state nine months after independence we have coral gardens it's not it's not the british do it it's our own political elite did it but they also get their training under colonialism because one of them one of the persons who was most opposed to howell and we have one of them letters to prove it was Alexander Bustamante. Right? In the 1930s, right, he wrote to the British governor and said, look here, if you, do, if you don't want to deal with this man, we will deal with him. Right? Alexander Bustamante. In 1940s, the first destruction of Bakawal came in the 1940s under him. So there's, there's, there's a, there's a, there, there is a, there's a learning, there's a, there's a type of learning that he brought to the picture because he, he never liked him. You know, one of the reasons he was not able to bring his union to St. Thomas because the workers in St. Thomas were supporting Howell. And the 1938 uprising in Jamaica began in St. Thomas, not Westmoreland. It began in St. Thomas. <laughs> right? So, so we should understand one of the reasons for this hatred of, 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 of Howell, personally, by Bustamante. And that never stopped. Nine months. After independence, April 1963, we have Coral Gardens and the consequences of that. But guess what? Every time there is a suppression of Rastafari, it grow more. Every time there is, it grow more. And there are some things that, that are happening today in this country. I see, I see police in foreign country wearing dreadlocks. It's not everybody who wears dreadlocks. Arasta. But there's a tolerance. And you know what I think what I like? Because them hate it so much. When the Rasta man and the Rasta woman them flash them locks and then say make it burn them. Eh? So, so so the, the problem that is facing us is what happened to people, young people in schools, all levels of the education system, being pressured or being actually forced to cut their locks. We should not put up with these things. We should not put up with these things. One of the principles here is self-discovery. We are what we are, and that is how 
is going to be one love, one heart. Yes, let's give it up again for Prof. Clinton Hunt. Yeah, man. Give thanks. You know, as I said, my esteemed colleague for, for years and years since we've been at UA, you know, and you know, I think all Clinton is, is passionate. You know, we, we, we are going to intersperse the talking with the music, but just before we go back into the music, courtesy the one. Ibi Lion, I just want to emphasize one of the things he, he brought up. Go fast forward into the present, the issue of Pinnacle. And, um, you know, probably a little later, we 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 I we'll have a full reasoning about that. But I, I just like Clinton, feel passionately, we have to move things forward with Pinnacle because we're just there with the one lot. And it just, you know, they are there for years now. A 2013 September, I, I mark these dates, right? That is nine years ago. With the one lot. And it just, you know, we just stay there. We don't see nothing much go on, depth on the land uh, and so forth. So all we are talking about Leonard Hall. What, what are we doing about his legacy? How can we move the thing forward? Now, I say openly, I'm an advocate for the additional lots being, um, you know, being announced for, for being declared because what we are lose we're not lose anything i mean maybe you can't get the whole pie one time but why not you know take it in steps some people say why five lots not enough want everything so what if you don't get everything you you, you, not, you deal with nothing you know what i mean sometimes you have to think things through and move one step at a time but anyway that's don't have the reasoning and thing, but I think you know you have to use a headspace and say where do you really want to go and realistically how you're gonna get there, you know. So I, I don't know. I think I saw Sister Cathy um in a, oh say there yes we give thanks Sister Cathy is here, you know. I don't know if you want to quickly bless the place Sister Cathy before we go into a musical segment and and come back um with the, with the discussion. But seeing Sister Cathy journey you know as a traveler this you know a couple of weeks ago he we, said we she does south africa next thing we know she boom she, she bounced out of the u.s and then she when we talk to her she said no mama come to jam rock you know so come forward sister Cathy, and bless the place and yes, you know yes, what i mean yes. in honor of your father on the 124 celebration and uh, sister Cathy, you know yes Hail the eye! Hail the eye! Hail his majesty, kings of kings and lord of lord, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah and empress Menin, our queen. Yes, I come to you in the name of Leonard Percival Howell. I'm his youngest daughter and my name is Catherine, affectionately known as Sister Kathy. Sister Kathy Howard. A lot of people say, Why are I feel daughter that you know but cut off my head now? Look for me now. Look for my father's face now. And whoa! But they have to do the work. I've been doing the work. I've been doing the work that I'm so tired. I'm an elder now. You know? <laughs> but can't give up. But they're on the battlefield, I do the work. As the brother said, we just come from South Africa last week, and it's true. But down there, I do the work. Go down there, go say, the king of the Embo kingdom invited me to South Africa. And we sat down to talk about land for my people to cultivate, to do our herbs, and whatever necessary that needs to be done. And he assured me that he will help. He will give me any kind of possible help that I need. And I give thanks for that. And of course, he also mentioned to me about Angola, that he grew up in Angola, and there's lots of land in Angola. And the soil down in Angola is very good. Because right now, South Africa is very dry. And if we're going to do farming, we're going to need water. And Angola seemed to have a lot of that. 
So moving fast forward, I'm also down in Ghana. I am a sister that it's traveled. I love to travel because West Africa is where my ancestors came from. West Africa is where my father came from. My father came from one of the greatest tribe in West Africa, which is the Ashanti tribe. That's why he was to really have all of that fire inside of him because of his ancestors. My mother, on the other hand, came out of Nigeria. Her family were Igbo from the Nigerian side. So I and I have all kind of African blood and all kind of things running in my vein, but more than anything, my father looked at me one day and he said, I call you Catherine because you're going to catch them in a St. Catherine. I can talk to my, talk about my father as a father because when you have a father that is so great, you know, you look at him as we call him Dada. You know, he was my Dada. I mean, in terms of being a great man, that was the furthest thing from my mind when I was a child because I didn't understood, I didn't understand. I didn't even understand my dad because he was so mysterious. I remember one day I was talking to him, and this is no lie, no joke, and I'm not making this up, sisters and brothers. This is the truth. I was right here. My dad was standing right beside me. And I was talking to him, and you know, he has, he kind of talk a little stammer, you know, a little stutter. And we were talking about the surrounding because as a child, Used to Mike, 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 Mike. Yeah, as a child, he used to remind me how the earth is so magnificent and how the color of the rainbow was so magnificent. That was the first big word I knew as a child. And it represents the color. The rainbow is the rainbow color of all the people. And we as black people brought everyone here. So any white person that is here, there's blackness in you in case you didn't know that. <laughs> You're still part of us whether you want to believe it or not. Anyway, coming back to the story. My dad was here standing. And I'm like looking over and said, boy, daddy so and so. And when I looked, there is no possible way my father could have moved in physically. Unless I knew. And the man was right over there. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, Dad. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> he said, he goes, <laughs> as to show me, like, you don't know who I am. You don't know the mystic man that I am. You don't know that I've gone to Africa and, and be with my tribal people. You don't know that they have given me powers. Sometime when my dad got into a lot of problems with the colonial government and them looking for him over there because they really thought that he was over there. Possible, but in for us to enjoy the privilege that we share today. And you know, I, I I'm I'm not into color and I'm not into race. That's white man problem, not mine. Because for me, we're all human beings. His Majesty told us that we belong to one race, and that's the human race. So here I am talking to you today, sisters and brothers, that my father really changed Jamaica and started a new paradigm. A new paradigm that no one had the balls and the guts to do. Bunkley, was the, was, um, the two other brother was that... It was the two brothers that were there. Was it Hines and uh, another brother who really wanted to get into the Rasta? But they did not do what my father did. And what my father did was he was committed. He was committed to lay his life down for his people. And those are his words out of into my ear. He was willing to lay his life down for the liberation and salvation of his people. That is said they could send him to jail as much time as they want to. They could send him to the madhouse as much time as they wanted to. He is the only Jamaican man I know who have gone to jail so many times and have gone to the madhouse so many times. And one day I remember when I just came in from college in New York and I sat down and I said, Dad, don't they give you the shock treatment? in Bellevue and he said yes Catherine 
but in my mind, I mentally comes out of my body. So whatever was going on in the flesh, it was no concern of mine because I was in the spiritual realm. So each and every one of us here today should realize that we are both physical and we're spiritual. And right now most of us are living into the physical. But once we tap into the energy of the spiritual, you'll find that you become a new member of the human race. And I don't want to sit here and take the mic and stay too long because a lot of other people have a lot of things to say and a lot of people have a concept to say, but it's good that you can read. The brothers at the university have written the books on my dad and I'd love for you to support them. You know, Brother Clinton Hutton, Barnett, and brother, uh, and there's another brother that wrote this book that everyone should have a copy. And each one teaches one. So I say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. And I give thanks for everyone that is here, but I can't leave this podium without talking about Pinnacle. Because I and I have put into the work in a Pinnacle. And when I said I put in the work, I have put in the work that nobody in this room or in here sitting to say that they have put in as much work that I have done for Pinnacle. And we had gotten to the point where the government had considered us but then we have other entities in the Rasta movement who want leadership position and want to control Rasta and Rasta business. But by the help of my ancestors and all the dry bones that are there in Pinnacle and those cemetery, I pledge by the blood of my ancestors, I, Sister Catherine, will make sure that Pinnacle become a heritage site. And I'm not alone, brothers and sisters. The ancestors are with me. The ancestors are with me. And brother Mike, I'm telling you, I don't care who comes in front of I and I. If I have to jump over you, step over you, climb over you, or burn you. Yeah, Pinnacle is Rasta village. Yeah, and it must become a Rasta heritage site. Some of them say my father put pay money down and deposit. First initial deposit, yes, he made. But it's my father's hard-earned money that bought Pinnacle for Rastafari and people. He was the first philanthropist in Jamaica. And we all have to respect this. So we don't need to come fight the whole world family and the whole lights for Pinnacle. Because Pinnacle belongs to everybody, all Rasta. So who is going to be in control? Most of some of these Rasta brothers right now in Pinnacle think that they want to take over. Number one, them don't have no money. Hello? At least I have a little savings. Hello? At least I can generate some income. Hello? Let me see them do that now. So they need to buck off. They need to buck off and realize that they cannot be in control. Some of them is not even in control of their own goddamn lives. So how, what made them think that they should be in control of Pinnacle? They disrespect the old people that have been there. Most of them died there. Their blood and everything that they have. And then now their brothers who hurry come up, rascals that won't come and take over, but it's not going to happen. And the government did says to us, Sister Catherine, the rest of the people, they're not united. And there's just too much confusion going on. I had several meetings with the Minister of Culture. The last time I spoke to her, she talked about arbitration. Because one entity said that they are they speak for Rasta. And so they're going to object to whatever lot that the government have allotted to us, which was seven lots. It's seven lots. 199 plus six, that's seven lots. So as brother says, we will take the seven and move forward because whatever lot is left there we can always go after the, re the rest of 100 lots that is still left there that's not being sold but at least let us move forward to what we have and i bring love 
and light from my family. To all brothers and sisters that are here today, I just want to thank you for coming out. Thank you for coming out and share your time and your energy with us. And I do look forward to see most of the faces here in Pinnacle soon. Because we're moving forward, Brother Clinton. We're moving forward, Brother Barnett. We're moving forward and no one can stop us now. I just want to give thanks again and say, Rastafari! Selassie! Hell Rastafari! Rastafari! Powerful sister Catherine. Powerful, powerful. Yes, step on. Yes, yes, powerful delivery. I say it's the energy right there, so yeah, man, undoubtedly. Yes, so right about now I just um I don't know if anybody have any question burning questions for Professor Clinton Hutton or even for Kathy but I know Clinton has to leave very soon so if anybody does have a pressing question now would be the time before we go into the musical segment all right I'm not seeing any hands raised at the moment hey baby you be lying, you have the African sledge line up. Talk. Yeah, man. So, what we do, we are keep the vibes going, keep some cultural vibes going. I see a few artists in other place who will be giving some cultural presentation, give thanks to see Boom Down in other place, uh, see Bonga, Erman, uh, percussionist from long time, back in other years, you know. I'm glad to see some of the vintage artists them come through still, you know, we have to remember the legacy The musical legacy is great one, great, great, great So, you know, right now We have just some vibration And, you know, let's keep the thing bubbling right about now So, my name is Michael Barnett for those people who don't, don't know me um, And, you know, I'm just a MC Master Ceremonies try and keep the current going, you know. But we give thanks for the turnout, we give thanks people honoring the legacy of Leonard Owl, 124th Earth Strong, you know. And it's always still a pleasure to celebrate I and I heroes and sheroes. One thing I want to put out there, the public to know, and I said this on the radio a couple of times, but for me, I'm agitating for all of the criminal convictions against Leonard Howe's name to be expunged. Yeah, the same way we managed to get Marcus Garvey's convictions expunged, a lot of people may not know, but 2018, the convictions he had in Jamaica were expunged. And that's necessary, as well as Paul Bogle, as well as the convictions against Sam Sharp and George William Gordon, because what happened is our heroes who were basically black liberation fighters, right, were convicted during those colonial times because as an anti-colonialist, the colonial system must move against you and it's the same with Leonard Hall. So he was convicted for being an anti-colonialist. Because what he said, he said, we must not worship um, King George the, the Fifth. We must not, he said, our true and rightful king is his imperial majesty, Alice Lassie I who wears the crown of Ethiopia. He said, look for the black king. Why I worship this European king, this British king? So anti-colonial fought, anti-colonial movement. He said, black people, you have your own legacy. You have your own royalty. Why you are worshiping European monarchy and so forth, you know? And even today, some people get caught up in uh, this colonial mentality. So. Someone like Leonard Hall was trying to pull black people out of that anti-colonial mindset. Anyway, Ibi Lion, you have the thing tune up. Yeah, man, and give thanks still for the turnout. Sister Stacey, the Sister Jenny, you know, enough ones. Yeah, man, the boat. All right. Ibi, on your time, give thanks. Yeah. As I would say greetings in the name of his Imperial Majesty Emperor Selassie I the first and the father and the founder of the Rastafari movement, the most honorable Leonard Percival Howell. 
Now it is of deep regret that I, the African Sledge, is unable to be there with you all physically on this special occasion. Now because of a musical contractual agreement that is to be performed by me on this said day, I am unable to be there with you all physically. However, I'm sending my spirit, my chant, and my music to this special occasion. I'm sure it will be felt. And I know the spirit of our hero, the most honorable Leonard Percival Howell, will be there too. Now in conclusion, I want to say to each and every one, chant, make we chant. Make we chant the name, the teachings, and the philosophy of our hero, our great man, Leonard Percival Howell. To all mothers and all fathers, philosophers, and historians, black, chant, make we chant, because Leonard Howell never die. Never. Leonard Howell never. lives in me and you and all of us blessings to each and everyone continue the work continue the chant for our great man leonard percival howell never die rastafari and blessings to each and everyone
my brother Fred Lax, how are you? Yes, man, give thanks. I know you're here for that reason. Give thanks.
and I live for I am victory over and over again. Yes, it is. Blessed love, this is Empress Miriam Simone, and you're listening to E.B. Lion on Best 100 FM. Michael Barnett, can I re report to the Aki Tree, please? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Miguel, we like to have a word with you, you know? Yes, yeah, man. Oh. Dr. B, Chuckin. We are what we are. That's the way. It's going to be. You don't know. Right. Don't move from this thing up. Greetings. Up, 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 up with the voice. Up no man. Greetings. Rest the fire. Up with it, up with it, up with it. Serious time now, you know. Yeah. You hear me? Serious time now. Good. Bongo Eman is my name. Rastafari, 1966 when his Imperial Majesty come at the airport, I was one of them who go play the Nayak at the drum there. And got a man to go be with him. I never knew my virgin brother Howell, personal, but the spirit make me know him through his Imperial Majesty. And I welcome the daughter. Yes, some come while some send. And that the earth for no. I mean, he's a raster man from Bakawal days. Me no change, now no one can rearrange me. And you know, sir, and me and Bob Marley and Wheelers from Hota Trench Town. So when you dance to some of them songs, they dance to the spiritual movements of the thing. For the repeater scatter, the phone they flatter. And the bass drum batter. So we say batter, flatter, scatter. Jump! Rush! Go for high! Boy, and stand up. Stand up. Go and sing up your head strong for the man. When you get up and stand up for a while, show some respect. When you get on a flight long, you can't sit down too long. You blow the clad up. Yeah, so you need to stand up. Go and the them join up and, you know, we're going to sing up your head strong. Ready? Yeah, Happy birthday to you. Happy Earth Strong. Brother Away. Happy Earth Strong. Brother Away. Happy Earth Strong.
belong to you. What the price them there? Happy Earth Strong. Spread away. Happy Earth Strong. Spread away. Happy Earth Strong. Spread away. Happy Earth Strong to you. May God bless you. May Jah bless you. Happy Earth Strong, brother Owen. Happy Earth Strong to you. Brother Owen shall wear a crown. Brother Owen shall wear a crown. Brother Owen shall wear a crown someday. Close by your side, Owen must abide. Brother Owen shall wear a crown someday. Brother Owen shall wear a crown. One of them. Brother Howell shall wear a crown. Brother Howell shall wear a crown someday. Close by your side. Brother Howell must abide. Brother Howell shall wear a crown someday. Yes, so keep it. So fly away home to Zion, fly away home. What do you want to sing, man? One bright morning when the war is over, I will fly away home. Sing it out. Fly away home to Zion, fly away home. One bright morning, when the war is over, I will fly away home. Sure! You know what say? Bob Marley, name of a brother who is? The Gang. The Gang? So, he introduced reggae music to I and I. When there were no drum machine, we have to sit down at the studio and build the rhythm. One track recording, two track recording, four track recording, and 16 track. When they make mistakes, them days, they the whole away have to go back and play again. And that's why the music from that time until now lasts so long. That's why Bob Serrigi is the heartbeat of a people. You have to know when to play or when not to play. Brother, give it. Touch one tune or we're doing a studio. Now. Anyway, let me make some noise! Let's hey, 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 hey. go! Alright, to the put down stuff! How we build them through the bucket of the day? One! Let's go. 
Black man, next rock. Next rock. Why do I know? Them song I make baby to them time there. When you got dance, I'm baby them song I make. When you turn and you walk through the door, it hurt me so. I said it hurt me so. Oh, then you look at me and you say goodbye. You made me cry. I said you made me cry, my darling. Oh, so listen to me while I say to you. Can I hear it? Wait. of Jesse. Mama Jed, Papa Jed, and the children from Jed again. Cha! Yeah. 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 Next one! Next one! Next one! Next one! Hold it! Hold it! Give it! Give it! Hold it! We can get a little history on this song here. This song the songwriter for it is a man called Rasco Garden in the United States. Alton Ellis do it, Freddie McGregor do it, I myself do it for GG label. This is for all the sisters them. Respect. Well done. Uh -huh. Well, love you. They all have. <laughs> all the sisters, the rest of sisters, one life I well know. Ah, Darling, how well I love you. They all I have. He tried to take you, and now I'm so mad that the way to love, that's how I feel in my heart. I've got to say, oh, how I suffer, oh, how I cried. Gave up my pride to be by your side and go to help take me love, take me slow, feel it mine. Uh -huh. I'll never say no other words, no other words. That is true, that is true. Uh -huh. Petra, come in, come in. Take me back. Ah, oh, 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 Fire side, and 
song. Next song. Yeah, I saw we did. I love my baby. This is one of my original Dennis songs. The Aaron Moody. Back in the days. And this is what he said. I heard you say to me, you want to be my. But let's talk about it, sister. Now the game has just begun. God, if you want to be my number one, if you want to be, if you want to be my number one, never, never hurt this man. Ah, you think I don't? Ready to go, my name a fool the Jonas. Coming from the country with my bag of Cali. All right, thank you, yeah, we got. Yeah, what we say, one more. Punk, oh man, yeah man, go on, punk. Times so rough, it times so tough, it times so rough. From the country with my bag of Cali, back up on the DC, it won't free hold me. Don't you run now, you man, you won't get away if you sit the wheel side. If you run, you can't hide. Cause I've got so bright in my head. Can I hear it? The children dying from hunger and high man are so far. So you get to see is this Kelly that beat me? Fifty cent a stick and a dollar a quarter. That's what keep me alive. Me and my two kids and wife. So give me a chance now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, okay, man. Let's give it up for Bongo, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, give thanks all the time. Vintage songs by the one and only Bongo, man, man. Love it, vintage performers perform, you know. I'm glad to see Fred Locks in the place. And no parties in other place. And yeah, man, the vibes are going nice. But right about now, you know, we are going to mix it up and we are going to. You know, we have to balance the thing, you know, so we just are the male reggae artists you now, so we are bringing the sister in, you know. And we have our sisters within the business for a while still, you know, but not really get her just you and talking about 
one only boom down, so if it when you line up the track, you know. And what meantime and between time I want to tell the people so we have more food in the kitchen just come through, you know, we have some veggie chunks and aki and rice and thing. Um that are sell for five hundred a plate still, you know, but we have food there and I know them have bottled water, I don't know what other juice them are, but but anyone who wants refreshment it, it there, you know, but in the kitchen them I deal with the things still. Alright? So go on through with it right now with the vibration. Go on boom down, you know? Yeah. Go on through my sister. Are you a time? Yeah man, greetings one and all in the name of his Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eilis Celestia the First. Ja Rastarai. You know, some advice not so good, but you don't know. We still have to represent. This is I Boom Down on the Rampage. And what I come to give you is my music rage. I had it in my mind. I put it on the page. Now I'm going to give you on the stage. Hey, hey, hey. Say, you know the reason why we have so much crime? I'm because we don't have the love. Boom Down, what the love back? I am the woman in jam. Love, 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 love. The faculty of love. Love, 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 love. I will manage the bank of love. Love, 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 love. Tell me, do you need love? Love, 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 love. I will manage the bank of love. I give you a loan to love your spouse. I give you a loan to build a love house And you will pay no interest rate Keeping the policy to love operate hey! The greatest moral investment Collaterals no requirement Compulsory you must get this loan certified by Bunda Love of you with one of you say Love 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 Spend love like money <laughs> Yeah man When music nice we play twice we need to love each other unconditionally. Crime solve. Yes. Yo, yo. Love, 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 love. New faculty of love. Yo. Love, 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 love. I will manage the bank of love. Love, 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 love. Tell me, do you need love? Love, 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 I will manage the bank of love. Love, I give you a loan to love your spouse. I give you a loan to build a love house. And you will pay no interest rate. Keeping the policy to love operate. Hey! The greatest moral investment. Collaterals, no requirement. Compulsory, you must get this alone certified by boom dot love a few week one and me say love 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 spend love like money love 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 this a money you can't do it love 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 tell me do you need love 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 change and agree to love yes yeah. Your account will never be dormant When you're active and be a love informant Your monthly statement no service charge Your credit and your debit calculations are forged hey! Every day you feel the card deposit So when you withdraw no questions no ask it Feel your loan down safely secure And when the loan they don't you just come back That's for that Run the taxi we must respect each other and love each other. We must respect love. This is one of my other track. Taxi. Yeah. Ah, Sister Aisha, pick up yourself. I always look out for both down and give thanks. You know, I'm going to you something special. Yeah. How come I don't see love over there? And how come I don't see love over here? How come love is not everywhere? When love is so easy to share? And how come I don't see love over here? And how come I don't see love over there? How come love is not everywhere? Well, love is so easy to share to hate another brother for the color of his skin is a sin. 
to we one another we should win So never says ugly we are all good looking I want DNA create everything so what happened to you and me say what happened to him take a look in at yourself before you hurt him do you like what you see do you love how you feel is it red the same color of the blood that we bleed so how come I don't feel love over here and how come I don't see love over there yeah man we are free to one another cause we need each other trust me that this life yeah we need each other yeah man Yo, yo, yo. Show love to the ones you will die with you. More love for the ones who will ride with you. Run all love to the ones standing next to you. You only love them for what they can do for you. You can't talk and show love with your face at school. Love is not from the heart, and it can't be true. So tell me, man, who the hell is fooling you? Love is not no puzzle, so we don't need no clue. So how come I don't see love yo. over there? And how come I don't see love over here? How come love is not everywhere? Well, love is so easy. Girl, love, we should underline it. Take some time to redefine it. Cause our leaders are really blind if they deal with love. Single minded, who will like them? They are so unkind. We citizens are not directed, they are undermined. Next election, there's no time to be done for them to get some love. Stay rooted and grounded. So, how? That's where that's the Run back the taxi. Run back the taxi. Where all of the guys and people coming at the place there? I agree with a friend with money tall in front of station because we're brave. Yeah? Can you feel it? The I great I some can control it. The I great I some youths in hell it. And with them future, them not try some just abuse it. Get high and take a man's life. Yep, they come from around the world to smoke the ganja that to you and I smoke down here in Jamaica. No other herbs like these. But when it comes to brewing the tea, they come from around the world to smoke the ganja that to you and I smoke down here in Jamaica. No other land like these. But when it comes to black, mix me. So welcome to the land with the good ganja. Nowhere else in this world you will find it stronger. High grade from the land, stay where ever's longer. Some are growing on the light and the inner tank. But the ganja from the land, on the sun a conquer. Some are fly from New York and all the way from Bangkok. For this is call them no no chemical, no either that we are the best of all, my man. Don't stop plotting up when you feel it. The I great I, you must control it. The I great I, you must not waste it. It helps Solomon to be wise, boom down side and seal it. The herb of life. Yeah, yeah. So when you fit it down the yard, where the high grade go, oh, you will see a to the left rest of my chalice sit uh, before it's got cut off his back to just praise his flow. And if you get a joy, you are gonna love it. So just so smoke the high grade ganja, good sense in it. Put it in the chalice and your king size wrist. Uh, that's right, the nonsense. We got on the filter. It don't give no vibes, it only give your cancer. When you feel it, that's right. Run it. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rastafari. Hey, I tell the chips to talk to me. Tell me what's going on and laugh at me. No matter how serious this world, I'm going to lie to me. Even if they are in the wrong. And a chapter a day keeps the devil away. Every day we see the future with no future. We sorry for them future. We need to take time to tutor. So them the loot prostitute and become a gun shooter. Every day we see the future with no future. We sorry for them future. The way they're living is sinister. Babylon similar. 
them too peculiar It's a fist start from them two, three or four Cause when them get too older, them no one learn no more What them see, I that them adore If them don't see no love, no telling what them have been for Them youth are the future so of them we have to put with money in uh, uh, Them youths uh, will shoot ya uh, If on the left or the right And you put the gun in uh, Every day we see the future Without future We sorry for the future We need to take time to tutor So then the loot prostitute And become a gun shooter Every day we see the future Without future We sorry for the future The way they live in this city is a Babylon similar Them two years So you have to train the children in the way they should go Don't it? That when they are old They will not depart from it Steve has big up yourself I'm looking at you with that Hear this! Hear this! And from them young them smoking and I'm a shot them nerves I'm a DJ and sing no no and I'm out from a firm I run down bling and I'm a car for swerve You say sweet hustle in some a sleep on the curb So no give the gun and watch them with the knife You can lick it so every day who are a in the night The little less of you till the biggest gun You can just keep on like the rock pass by Now come in and get tight cause Every day me see the future Dash for that we are one, we are one, we are one. Walk one for me, for you and you for me. Them morals that take time, I left the scene. Parents nowadays that teach that to them seed. That's why we have so much friend enemy. Segregation remain, religion's the blame. Divide and rule us, that is the aim. But we are one, so why this game? For years we complain and stay. No change, but out of many them say We are one, we are one, we are one So why the confusion, we are one We are one, we are one, we are one Hear this It's like them blow them fuse, get so confused The poor I get too much abuse So many church from them to choose Yet we still get pure bad news Now you know me and I know you So why you acting so brand new Contract killing for you know who To kill the ones you closest to But shoot by you You live in this world, I live here too The air you breathe, I breathe that too The money you need, I need that too The blood you bleed, I bleed that too No love between me and you But I won't do the things you do What goes around come back to you So be careful what you do cause we are one, Saint Rastafari. Yes, I said, bless up everybody right there. Heart of love. Do that one for the ancestors, them. Jack that one there. My name is Danoski. Obviously. Yeah. That one here for the ancestors, them. You see me? Then listen now From Africa, them sail we on ship To the Caribbean, them take we on ship We have to go to them slavery and chicks Salvation, we take kick and rip We contract them straight away from it We block heritage, them want to take it All in my people face it And of blood, sweat and tears strip so me a chant to me ancestors them Me a fit out to me ancestors them Ask me when me want for me and Pull up that thing Yeah man Cause we have to remind them you know, This is a reminder Cause you know A lot of history song done Hold up Then you say no from Africa, them sail we punch it To the Caribbean, them take we punch it We have to go to them slavery and chicks Salvation, we take it can we We culture them stray we from it We block heritage, them want to take it Only my people face it And no blood set and tears strip So me a chant to me ancestors them Me a fit out to me ancestors them Ask me when me want for me ancestors Cause everything sad for me ancestors So me a walk with me ancestors them Cause the journey was hard for me ancestors You know not make me rot for me ancestors And get back all I wanna take from them all my ancestors 
sisters across Africa, Kenya, Senegal, Ghana, Gambia, Uganda, Burundi, Rwanda, Nunga, Nigeria, and Ethiopia. The ancient land was known as Nubia. The ancient one like Mansa Musa, we are kings like King Solomon and queens like Queen of Sheba. And there are my ancestors, them, me Africa, and One more, give it back. Yeah, man, I can't check out that one up on the YouTube. It's called Ancestors. Danoski. From the young generation. I got. From Mama Africa, them sail we punch it. To the Caribbean, them take we punch it. We have to go to them slavery and chicks. Salvation, we take it and we. We culture them scary from it. We block every fish, them want to take it. How many my people face it? And of no sense and see a strip. So me a chant to me ancestors, them. Me a fit out to me ancestors, them. Ask the women want from me ancestors. Cause everything sad from me ancestors. So me a walk with me ancestors, them. Cause the journey was hard for me ancestors. You know, make me run to me ancestors, them And get back all I want to get from them Yeah All my ancestors across Africa Kenya, Senegal, Ghana, Gambia Uganda, Burundi, Rwanda Young Nigeria and Ethiopia The ancient land was known as the Uga The ancient man like Mansa Musa We had kings like King Solomon and queens like Queen of Sheba And they all me ancestors them Me African from me ancestors them Ask you when me warm from me ancestors Cause everything sad from me ancestors So me a walk with me ancestors them Cause the journey was hard for me ancestors I love you now where is the more? We build the pyramids, we build our nations. Africa the cradle of civilization. So you know we got to show appreciation to our four parents to set the foundation. We've been kings on this earth from creation. So we have to teach a younger generation about them black history, black education. We block heritage and where we came from. Raise a glass to you ancestors Pour a flask to you ancestors And for all of we ancestors We have to give thanks So me a chant to me ancestors Stop that there Yeah man, who are say Bless up the gang for the merch chant June the 7th was my merch chant So we still a celebrate the month So we say chat the grateful there them cement and slavery, but we say freedom and bravery. I always say, oh, such a life has ever been this way. Learn to achieve and do things that are well. Born focus, we never stray. We respect every woman, every flesh. When no struggle, no more stress. No need vanity for no happiness. Cause you want full of love. Show us how you're blessed. Have ambition, make the matter the address Educated, but straight, smart and the best We live and we learn, so we not the regrets Them are living at the past You know why? Them too little men to count them blessings Too hype to realize them progressing Can be a dreadful one, soon arise No semi playful Them too little men to count them Too hype to realize them progressing Let me know you see me? Can't be no idiot, can't be no Judas, can't be no two-side cut loss. We study life like a compass. Not be cheer me friend, forget comfort. Can't be bad mind, can't be red eye like scientists and us on me. I hear for the sky. Them are so chuck and divide and I realize them blessing and multiply. Them too literate we call them. Them too hype we realize and progress with. Can't be a grateful one, soon arise, I'm a no-semi-playful Them too literate, we count 
We've been through the rush, check Marcus, Martin Luther. Why every youth nowadays won't be shooter? Man, what be a foot and still a chain? Ask motor, not follow the day because I just am my tutor. Man, have one foot and I make life. Still, some man does a take life. The blind still a leader provide fame, dead. Some look who yes, boy, can't achieve. Why? Them two literate, they count them blessings. Do I realize them progressing? Yeah, man, a fast, yeah, fast show, man. Bless up the face, man. You don't know when I overdo it. I only for artists there. The artists say, I want to chat something. Give him the rhythm, my dear. Let's show the artists. The art I love every time. Yeah, I don't know how about all the roots. Who know me, know me, I don't know me, so who know me. Yeah. Well, on the suck. You know him. Big up yourself, Bala Roots. From school days. Over spoilers. And if I say it right, Bala Roots. Big up yourself. My chatter your shoulder too. Art of love. Get the artist to read him. So I said, from school, then you tell a fast show, my student. So I say, the work where Bala Roots are doing there, say, the achievements there. Eh? Years me I do it from there. I don't know me, I used to eh? them send me a prison innocent. Get 17 years, but the eight and a half years in the prison from prison, me I do rehabilitation. Oh, my family. So, me I, me I try to guide the youth there. Show them, say, yo, bad this no fear. My family life in a prison is wicked. And in the inner city, Central Kingston, and enough work me I do, and my family and still a fight. Everything I do, and even the day before yesterday, them still have been police cut out my line and pay things for me. But watch ya, me I show them love the same way, you understand? Yeah. So what me I said? Ja. Father God, guide and protect me with Ja. For even my enemies, be my friends. Yeah. But I will not stop fighting this revolution until I get freedom. Freedom for me, freedom for you, freedom for black, freedom for white. Freedom for every human being that came into my sight. I want to help you to win this war. But I don't want to die like our broken and Shamsha. So you may hear my voice and not see my face. You may see my move and not see me in action. I'm going to be by the sun that shines and the wind that blows. Be careful of them, because technology is the only thing that they know. Yeah. So it's the creator of this universe. Thank you for my life, oh yeah. Because without you, I wouldn't be here on this earth. Thank you for my going out and my coming in. Oh yeah. So beat the combo jump. It's a beat it loud. When I'm not a rest, I'm marching out. We say, Charlie, now you're being in charge of land. When I'm not a rest, I'm still alone. Rest is me, and rest is you, because we are black. I'm a pro that that's how we're not on the back. We need rest in the house of parliament. So, right now, why we have to go to our year for seat and climate? Rest, I can't see what's going on in Georgia land. So, we need to get to the younger ones before them get into their heads with their microchips and their plants. Them created them virus to wipe out the poor class of people. While the rich have a wider than to roll, the child say weak. So be the Congo jump, Mr. Beatty Lord. When the most Rasta is marching out. Chant and all your bingy, Mr. Chanting Lord. When the most Rasta is still around. Yeah, you don't know, sir. All of his production. Check it out. Blessings, thanks. Fire it. Run back there with him, please, and talk. See him with him. So I think set up, you know? Yes, I am. I am Sabakan. You can't change it, Panay. I am the Almighty One. At it. I still see I. Yes, I am. Full fabric of life, you know. We say illumination, a triple darkness, you see me. At it, you know. I, I. Balance, Empress Menina. Yashima Bet, Mother of Life from the womb. <laughs> yes, I am. At it, you know. Mm. And we give thanks and praise to each one, you know, that's here, you know. Yes, I am. God in yourself, you know. I never change. Never rearrange it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll never change, never rearrange. Yes, I man will always be the same. Calling up on Rasta for right name. No for them I look people, them for blame. I've been fighting, fighting all my life, yo. And I'm surviving. 
baby Put all this time to ya They persecute me, they kill me, they rob and they steal me Tell me many lies, but I see they wanna kill me Rastafari, yes, you get the glory Every time I see Rastafari, come save me I remember prosecution, Coral Garden You don't forget because look, it's appalling What they did to you, what they did to me Rasta had to run to the mountains, had to flee Well, I see they rope you up I put you in a truck And put you down a jailhouse when it was rough Realize, realize what they like want me live in a them life But I, I'm floating, I'm floating away yeah. I'm down then I, 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 I'm floating away yeah. mm -hmm. ah. tell them lies, wish for me to die but still I keep on writing and I hold my head high No matter what them do, I will survive And I will never call, I will never call I will never call for no Jesus Christ Bang the bell! Rise to the one car and they are run out So rest me even take too long, you are going out <laughs> Never lose your roots, begin fame Better when you praise your name See you see I sit and be thrown forever you will be Put it! If I your key, make me get a light. Be still. Pick up Harry to push it. I don't know the thing though. You know it took any verse like Brad Bun. Slow the car pass to the sergeant. His Imperial Majesty Emperor and Celestia, Empress Simon and the Balance. Was here, you're shaming me. Make you a little bit again. <laughs> For your key, make me get a light. Burn and grow in a ghetto life. Don't be like a key, the more we want to fight. And that alone, I make the people feel alright. Like a feather, when me light them ya beds, me light them ya beds. Marijuana, marijuana, when me say never lose your roots, we get fame. Better when you praise your name. See the sea, I see thunder, chill forever, evil rain. So give me the fire, key, make me get alive. Burn and grow in a ghetto life. Babylon a king, I'm going tell you something When I pray government, you know, watch a fire, me a gun Watch you know Just a fire upon the misleader them But this thing get to you, them to mix up and then Let me not in close, separate from them No need to eat no flesh and naturally to me defend us Every now go and say, this is a pretty Pull up that gun, but yeah You see, Peter, I'm just the Emperor Island Celestia, just me gustos, me gust, me gas It's your Abbasila, I'm like what dada you know the thing go, house of Ross, dreadful and terrible. <laughs> Never miss if I need tap Ghana. We just don't play boss, you know, I'm a tap baller. It's Imperial Majesty, lead the way. Watch it now. Hear yeah, me no miss, tap Ghana. What you think they call me the tap baller? She found a jiffy land and me go and me go for. Get them out of the sea, But he had big dark tall things. When a coach can bench Me see still a see you the cruising a bench Stepping on the place See I'm where me represent time Button gate, big dark tall fence Man at a ball when a coach can bench Me see still a see you the cruising a bench Stepping on the place Watch out now Rust up we have things Things not we have rust up Anything my want man have to work hard for Rise in the morning chant a chapter Send a prayer to the king of Baba Remember me to find the top corner I think you're going to be a genius, you know. Come here! Big artist, I don't know. Yeah, it's the artist, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know what you're doing. Lisa. When they're your heart, they're not your love. Come on, 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 Come here, the light. Yeah, 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 respect. I'm a poet. I mean, I really want to read it. I just want to chant, chant one, you know? Yeah. 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 I am mission, ambition, love, desire, and confidence. I am my ancestor's vision. Strong. Bold, outspoken, and loud when necessary. 
Yes, I am rock solid man from the plantation, the gully, the ghetto, St. Thomas, the forgotten parish, Rastafari from Springfield, Church Corner, Dwayne Penn, Trinityville, Port Morant, Morant Beer, Botany Beer, who will never give up. I am the possible. I am the impossible turned possible. The climax of Africans crossing the Atlantic. The slave master's worst nightmare. The offspring of Mapa and Papa's unplanned sex. Whipped till I feel beating no more. Killed till I can't be killed no more. Hated till I can't be hated no more. Been so poor till you can't be poor no more. I am only living because I've died a million deaths. Taking a billion intoxicated breaths. I am Africa. Not just Jamaica. I am loud beating coming at drums, not just reggae guitar strums. Your past, present, and future. Gold mine they never knew existed. Water that quenched thirst no one knew existed. From the earth, this diamond can never be evicted. I am. It's a tribute to black people and our resilience around here, you know? None can get me out. So we have a good entertainment section and maybe we we have a couple more artists but in ten minutes I just wanna let the people know we have Ras Miguel on here and I'm gonna hear a few words from him for more or less close it off. But in the meantime, in between time uh, ten minutes, a cultural vibration. So, so DJ, are your time? Give thanks, please. Right now, just looking for wrap things up. I want to let the people know that we have still have food in our kitchen. If anyone interested, we still have the rice and the chunks and the all kind of thing and yati as well. Yes, Benji has some yati back there. Everything in the kitchen. If people still want something to eat, we only have water though. Bottled water. We don't have no no juice back there but still you have something to quench you first so right about now um before we totally close out i want to have ras miguel come and say a few words i want to give thanks to Ibi lion and all the different dj who have contributed to the musical segment unfortunately i don't know everyone's name but coach yeah man give thanks coach archie Steamers and of course Ibi Lion, you know, so give thanks to Coach Archie, David Steamers and the one Ibi Lion, we, we give enough respect for the musical segment. So, brother, Ras Miguel, without too much ado and everything, so you don't know Ras Miguel as being a strong advocate for Lenin. Greetings, greetings everyone, give thanks, give thanks. It's nice to sit and listen sometimes. And when I listen to the young artists them that were performing earlier on. And nowadays when you hear much people talk, the first thing they say is that the young artists, all them singers, slackness, girl under this and those things. And what you hear on the radio from the young artist is consistent with that thinking. Who you know shoot them, you're gonna murder and all those things. But listening to the youths them this evening, what it shows, and this is something I've always maintained, that more good songs are being made than the bad songs. But because they play more of the bad songs, it appears that our artist is only putting out the bad songs. And therefore, the media plays an important part in making sure that the bad songs come out. And brothers and sisters, I'm certain of what we hear tonight. If these artists got more earplay, then certainly it would make a big difference as to the quality that comes out. It would also make a big difference 
as to the income that would come in to the good artists and therefore encourage him or her to continue to make more and better music. But if you continue to play the rubbish and more money go to the rubbish artist, he will be encouraged to make more rubbish. And despite, despite IRFM having Sister Cabo and Brother Muta, they have done a lot to make sure that the rubbish artists come to our ears. Yes. So, brothers and sisters, we got to do something about that. With regards to Leonard Howell, and yeah, I know you have had some brilliant speakers earlier on, I just want to say, at that era of time, 1930, the early 1930s, there were many outstanding Rastafari philosophers and teachers. For example, there was a brother named Athle Rogers. He came from Nevis. You know, you have some Caribbean islands, and you have one named St. Kitts, Nevis, and Anguilla. Athle Rogers came from, not Nevis, not Anguilla, small island. Now, he wrote a book named The Holy Pibi. And in that book, The Holy Pibi, he declared that book the black man's Bible. And he made it clear that you could never put a King James Bible on his altar. Ashley Rogers, right throughout, the book came out in the 1930s, and he pointed to the God of Ethiopia. He was very strong when he speaks of the God of Ethiopia. <coughs> Another brother from Jamaica here, Reverend Fitz Ballantyne and he wrote a brilliant book in the 1930s also and that book was entitled The Royal Parchment Scroll of Black Supremacy. The title alone uplifts you coming out in the 1930s. A book which the Gleaner Company at the time, the Gleaner writer says what people will adhere to that rubbish in reference to that book. So you know if the Gleaner call it rubbish, you know what I and I would call it. And he also points to the God of Ethiopia and the black God and the black realm and the black princess and the black empress. He wrote glowingly. And there were other great writers in that 1930s. You see the writers came from being speakers. And you used to have many black speakers on the corner of Spanish Town Road, round by Bond Street, Princess Street, downtown, and so on. And many speakers, especially on a Sunday evening. And many of them, apart from speaking, they wrote books. Now, what makes Leonard Howell at that time stand out? And this now, I'm going to ask, does anyone here to tell me? All these are the great writers and speakers, and they all point to the God of Ethiopia. But who can tell me now, in that constellation of stars, what you think makes Leonard Howell, why we are here tonight, celebrating that great man? Come, my brother, come forward now. This man make it look easy. Yeah, well, most of the persons them just refer to Majesty and King, but Leonard Owl was the first one to declare Eilis Selassie as that king. And that king. Is he correct? Yes. Yeah. Let me hear you. Is he correct? Yeah. Let's give him a big round of applause, brothers and sisters. He carried it to the higher level. The others wrote about the great king. They wrote about Ethiopia. They wrote about Ethiopia being that majestical place and so on. But Leonard Howell now made it clear when you say the great king, he was referring to none other than Haile Selassie the first. And that's what made him stand out in that 1930s era, brothers and sisters. 
And if you're going to stand out amongst those so much other great writers and speakers, then naturally the persecutions is also going to stand out. And he is by far the most persecuted Rastafarian brother. We have not yet started to honor Leonard Howell. As I sat there, a brother came and asked me, he says, Ras Miguel, where is Leonard Howell buried? I told him, Dove cut. He says, why? <coughs> I'm not sure I can answer why, but one thing I do know is that we ought to do something about that. Because his family has a good portion of land at Redlands in Clarendon. So, Sister Kathy has left, but she gave me her number before she leave. I will discuss it with her and we will see how we can get him out from there and put him in a mausoleum much more honorable to his dignity and his achievements. Um, another brother that we should also remember um, and this brother is buried within the prison walls at St. Catherine. He is the son of Claudius Henry, the peacemaker. Many of you may not have known of the history, but Claudius Henry has a, had a son, um, I think it was Leonard Henry, Ronald Henry, thank you. And Ronald had come to Jamaica, not with the intention of taking on the Jamaican government, but to secure recruits to go to Africa to fight the liberation struggle there. They were hounding his father, Claudius, and persecuting him greatly. And Ronald didn't, couldn't sit back and allow that. It ended up that him and the state ended up in war. At that time, we had some white soldiers representing the army here. And they went up into Red Hills after him. And so they had to defend themselves couple of the white soldiers were killed and so that turned out to be a big thing here in Jamaica eventually Ronald was captured when they were leading him to the gallows over at Spanish town and they were going to put the thing over his face he said no I don't want that and I want to declare that I believe in the philosophy and opinions of the Honorable Marcus Garvey. Those were his last words, brothers and sisters. And then he was hung. His body is within the walls of the St. Catherine District Prison. And we think is a brother that ought to be honored and taken out and placed in a proper place for him at the peacemakers function where they still have a settlement so brothers and sisters as we honor great people great brothers amongst us it's not for them to decide who are our heroes it's for i and i to decide that based on the works that we have seen of our outstanding brothers and sisters and among Sinai as Rastafari, I'm certain that many of us here know of some humble, very humble Rastafari brethren that has taught us and has been an example unto us, but you never hear them name call amongst the celestial of greatness. But it is up to I and I to continue and to make sure that all our outstanding ones 
many of whom went to bed many nights hungry so that I and I could hear and come to know of this great philosophy. We give thanks. So let us continue to heal His Imperial Majesty Emperor Helia Selassie I, the first, Ja Rastafari, who has not only taught us so much things, but he himself, he was crowned on the 2nd of November in Addis Ababa at the St. Michael Cathedral and that crowning was an announcement to the world. You had many world dignitaries that attended that crowning. That's what he did. But after that crowning, he then went to Aksum, where the Ark of the Covenant is. And at the St. Mary of Zion Church, he was crowned again. That was now the private and celestial crowning amongst the constitution of angels. So brothers and sisters, when we heal him, it's not an ordinary heal. We are connecting with him and we are journeying with him and we are thanking him for coming upon this earth and blessing us. I give thanks. One love, black heart, give thanks, majesty. Yes, give thanks and praise to each and every one coming out tonight and you know from the evening and welcome everyone again to the house of dread on the 7th of July that is the first Thursday in the month so we're going to have an African Grand Market Day so anyone who have them little wears and them little things where they want to expose and you know make a one come and spend a dollar with you and thing like that the space is here so we can just share we now take everything for ourselves we are share the space so anytime you want to do your little things it write us a house of rastafari in you know, the city welcome each and every one with discipline respect and good behavior rastafari i love give thanks and praise we have some food in our place still you know if they are them need food we can sell your plate you know five dollar can allah just make your belly just go on full up yeah yeah so he'll rastafari you know he'll rastafari he'll rastafari he'll up he'll up man he'll up how he land all his daughters will come on and thing and you know yes the evening was so wonderful and we have the great big stone here who's capitalizing everything you know documentation yes and that way and that and that way for start a long time you know documentate our thing because when i look on the documentary them you know it's pure white man i see a narrate you know and I, I, I talk about black people and them thing and about them go around so and so i and i have to start doing our own thing and we give thanks to black stone big stone every stone you know this man i get a mass you know yes this man is not a rolling stone we're not carrying a mass we're not gather up you know this man i get up a whole heap of mass you know yes so Give him a round of applause. Rastafari. Yes. And to everyone we forward. Give on yourself a nice love. Love up on yourself. Yeah. Hug up yourself and just love up yourself. And God just love and love is God. Give thanks and praise, you know. And we have breadlocks in the place as chief organizer. 
every Thursday we're there, so, you know, just come in and just have a vibration.